Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition. We're going to, you know, kind of piggyback off some breaking news that uh, us over at Gangster Report and uh, Jeff Nadu over at the Sit Down News Podcast uh, was, was able to come out with this past weekend. Uh, we were both able to get details on the final years, months, and days of Joe Massino, the larger-than-life New York Mafia Don, uh, godfather, uh, boss of bosses in the 90s and early 2000s, uh, led the uh, Bonanno crime family on and off, or, or not on and off, in some capacity or the other for over 30 years. First New York Mafia boss, uh, official boss, to to flip, uh, cut a cooperation deal, became the first and biggest, most powerful American mafia don to ever testify in open court. He wired up on Vinny Basciano. We all know the story. Uh, there had been rumors that he was living in like Northern Florida, Jacksonville. Th those are those were all, you know, red herrings. That wasn't the case. Uh, we knew at the very end, uh, based on some you know, reports coming out of his family that he was in Ohio. We didn't know all the details. Now we do. So he was in Cleveland, Ohio. He was in a, a south suburb of Cleveland. He was living under the alias Ralph Rogers in a pretty high-end retirement community. Uh, bought himself a new Cadillac, I, I think, and was very proud of it, driving it around town. Was a guy that uh, had some money to spend. We can debate, you know, where that money came from. Uh, not sure, but uh, he liked to go downtown Cleveland uh, to go to the casino there, the Jack Casino, which is owned by Cleveland Cavaliers owner Dan Gilbert, the uh, mortgage king of the Midwest. Um, he was a big fan of going to a, uh, a steakhouse called the, the Timber Lodge in Medina, Ohio. That was one of his haunts uh the prime rib there i think was his favorite told people his family uh back in howard beach queens that you know he was pleasantly surprised at how good the italian food was in cleveland uh went to little italy there some other spots around cleveland that were known for their italian food enjoyed it um there were some rumors that he was getting stuff sent you know package wise from howard beach you know, from some of his favorite places there, sent to Ohio. I don't know if that's true or not, but those were some of the rumors. Um, and he is, uh, was someone that got outed uh, in in terms of he was recognized and he was made. Um, not in the sense of getting made into the mafia, but made in terms of having your cover blown. It was interesting to, to hear that uh, and how that resolved itself. Uh, I guess he was at the casino and a guy that was a kind of self-proclaimed mafia aficionado, someone who researched this stuff um, on their free time, but also had a history of some mental illness um, problems, uh, approached him at the casino and said, you're Joe Messino. And uh, Messino said, no, uh, I'm Ralph Rogers. I uh, was, you know, been living in Ohio my whole life. I don't know what you're talking about. But if you look at the prayer card, a picture of the prayer card, which has been circulating online now for a couple of days from, from Messino's passing, um, you can see that he looked the same. You know, he was, if, you, if you knew what Joe Messino looked like, you could probably identify him. This guy then tracks Messino down at his retirement home. Uh, and and is you know insisting in Messino's face, you're Joe Messino, you're Joe Messino. Uh, needless to say, this this man was arrested for harassment. The FBI wanted to move Messino uh, out of Ohio. Messino said no, stayed there. There were no further issues. But again, might be bearing the lead a little bit. One of the biggest takeaways in terms of feedback from our reporting, I think, is that, and we knew this again. We knew, you know, the. the the macro, we didn't know the micro. We knew that he died back in New York, reconciling with some members of his family at the end. But uh, we didn't know specifics. Now, we again, we know specifics. He was in Glen Cove, which is a you know really nice neighborhood in Long Island, but you know home to a lot of 
mob shot callers, numerous crime families, including the Bonanos. And uh, he was back there for a couple months. I think got there in the early summer of uh, 23, died in September. And uh, I know there's a lot of big time mob players in New York scratching their head or, or, you know, kind of lamenting like, Hey, this guy was here for the last couple months. How did we not know? Or maybe they did know. I don't know. I also heard people say that, you know, even if he had, it had gotten out, the news had gotten out that he was back in, in New York for sure. I, they don't think his, his life would have been in danger, but you know, it's easier. It's easier to say that now. But, uh, you know, those are some details I just wanted to share with everybody. Joe Messino lived the final 10 years of his life in Witsec in Cleveland, Ohio, as Ralph Rogers. For OG Pod, I'm Scott Bernstein. I'm out.